Okay, so here we're going to go over how to measure some areas. Uh, I don't really have a stockpile, but we do have this berm here that we should be able to uh, measure uh, the volume of uh, in addition to uh, any, any other pertinent detail. So what uh, to get into the uh, measuring of a volume, uh, we need to first define the outer boundary of the area that we want to measure. So to do that, we're going to measure an outer boundary line. To, to measure lines, uh, we'll hit the little measurement type icon in the bottom right there. We're going to go to new line. We're going to call this one uh, vol1. And then this is going to be a volume boundary. I'll hit accept. And that's going to get me into a line mode. So I'm just going to kind of do a couple points uh, around the edges here over the uh, at the base of the berm or kind of the edge of the area that we actually want to go ahead and measure the uh, volume of. So we'll go down into the pit over here, just kind of get some measurements around the bottom. Get one kind of on the back slope, up along the crest, and then back down along the edges at the toe of the slope. So we're just going around finding good spots and just hitting that measure button. And getting another one kind of at the corner here. And then once you want to get near closing it, you don't have to measure exactly at the same point. And actually you can go ahead and to close it automatically, just switch back over to point measurement. And uh, you can hit accept and that will close out the volume. So panning around you can see we've got a box there. Now the next thing we're going to need to do is uh, measure a break line along the top of the berm. So I'm going to go ahead and enter into that point mode again. I'll hit new line and instead of a volume boundary I'm going to do break line and I'll just call this one top uh, of, the, of the road or sorry of the, of the berm. Kind of get on it and I'm just going to measure just a, uh, a line right along the crest of it. Uh, so if you're a stockpile you'd actually need to get up and on the top of the stockpile and walk it. Uh, there's some alternative methods that we'll go over too. Measure a few points right along the top, kind of at prominent, any place that there's a prominent um, break in the slope, and then just otherwise right along the crest. Oh, hopefully I get my receiver back and it's back. A little hiccup there, but we're back. And then we'll just kind of get some Get a couple more points here, just again, right along the crest. Nothing too fancy. And then we'll kind of go up kind of near towards the edge of that boundary, watching on the screen where uh, where we are, and just kind of measure one within that uh, boundary. And then what we're going to want to do is measure some points um, along the stockpile here. If you're doing a real stockpile, you might only need to get the top break line and then that volume boundary around the edge. But uh, we're going to call these ones. Actually we're going to go into point here, including surface, and we'll call these ones uh, pile the points. Pile, we'll call it the first one one. Uh, point code, it's again going to be a ground shot. And uh, point type surface, yes. And show every time we're going to switch that to no. We're going to get rid of our exfil note, that's uh, not important for this. And then we're going to kind of just head down uh, within and then sort of fill in just some kind of points, do a little bit of a cross section uh, across the pile and so this is that we'll get the most accurate uh, volume measurement. So I'm just going to kind of put some uh, along here. Get some uh, along the surface of the area that we want to measure. Maybe just do a couple rows here of points. Keeping it within that boundary that we made.
one more kind of along the front edge here just so we get some points so we can get a more accurate kind of measurement. Okay, and then actually once we've done our measurements, what we're going to do is go into what's called the Kogo menu, which is underneath the home button, uh, the Kogo, which means coordinate geometry. We're going to review and edit data. And by, by default, uh, the command is already selected. It's that little highlighted yellow box at the top. And if you need, want to know what every command is, you can hit the question mark. That brings up a list of the different commands that we have available. But here we're going to do the compute volume. So it's going to ask to select a boundary. So we're going to click on the, uh, the boundary. And uh, then we're going to be able to determine a couple different factors here. There's a few different ways to measure a, uh, a volume. So one of them being, uh, you know, the stockpile. You can type in um, expansion or contraction um, uh, things. If you, so if you're excavating or actually compressing into a hole. And uh, but so we'll do um, measured to an entered elevation in this instance. So the entered elevation would be one. So that's going to make a flat plane uh, at the bottom of the volume calculation. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and pick a point from my point name list here. And I think I should just be able to find the drag down. And uh, I remember that very first point that we had uh, in our break line. I'm actually going to cancel that and I'm going to select the point directly, which is right at the bottom there. Selected the boundary and looks like I'm going to need to enter the elevation. So we're going to pick pile one, which is the very first point. Nope, not that one. Damn it. There we go. So we can just pick one of the line points along the bottom of the slope. And we'll just hit accept. Um, if we wanted to enter in a, an expansion. So uh, when I selected that point, it, it determined the elevation of that point, And then again, it's just going to make a horizontal plane from there. Uh, we'll, we'll leave the expansion factor blank. We'll hit accept, and then it does some calculations, and then it's actually going to let us save this into the uh, the data filing system. But it just lists all of the uh, the particular uh, volumes there. So we'll hit this one, and we'll call this one uh, stockpile stock one. And we'll accept it. So the other way you can uh, what you can do with a volume, uh, the other option is if we're going to select the volume again. So that was measured to en uh, entered elevation. But here if we actually select stockpile, uh, we can just kind of basically hit that and it'll be just based upon the, uh, the surface elevation of that bottom outer boundary. So if we hit accept there, uh, we've got, it's, again, it's just going to kind of make a little surface around the bottom of that perimeter that we put in there. And then here we're going to call this uh, stock too. And you'll notice that the values are uh, a little bit different. So that uh, does impact what flavor of, uh, of uh, value you're going to be able to get in order to uh, create, that, uh, create that design and calculate that volume. So that is a quick uh, method on how you uh, calculate volumes out in the field.